Hi guys, Darren here from Tiny Houses Australia with Grant from Designer Echo Tiny Homes. Thanks for having the time to uh, to speak to us today. Thank you very much. Thanks and for I wanted me. we're here at the Sydney Home Show, and I wanted to corner Grant before he packs it up and goes home to have a bit of an insight with him as to how he came to be a tiny house builder that he is now and also to get a sneak peek inside this thing. We've seen photos, but I wanted to get the man himself to give us a bit of a video tour and to give us a bit of an insight as to what you did and why you did it. So, yeah. so thank you. But thank you. Just to give us a bit of a background, because I know our, our followers are going to want to know, what's your sort of background? How did you come to find tiny houses? Yeah, yeah. so I, I've been a builder for 17 years, building okay. normal residential homes in New South Wales. Yep. Uh, maybe about six, seven years ago, I saw a need to change. That um, we were just building the same old um, inefficient homes, yeah. and we moved towards building sustainable residential homes. Okay. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And uh, I saw the movement in the US earlier in the year. It really sort of sparked my mind, and I quit home building okay. um, earlier this year, and I decided to see if we could adopt. A tiny house to Australian standards sure. to meet Australian road rules, things like that. It was very difficult because the American ones are a lot heavier than ours, sure. and so there was quite a few challenges to deal with. But this is essentially my prototype, um, and I think it actually has a really big future um, because it is a very cost-effective and sustainable additional housing solution for a lot of people who cannot, who just simply cannot afford. Sydney prices, Melbourne prices, yep. any city price across Australia. So I just think that whether people like it or not, I think tiny homes will be the future of housing. Certainly. They just don't realise it yet. Yeah. Some do, but a lot will, it will come, it will almost be forced on them. And I think that we need <coughs> to start showing people that actually a tiny home is actually a wonderful place to live in. It's not, yeah, you're it's not, not compromising a compromise, on it's anything. It's not a second best yeah. option, it's not yeah. a last resort. That's yeah. right, yeah. And that's the thing, and, and, and I know I've spoken to you about this in the past as well, but <coughs> we both know that tiny houses are not going to be a one size fits all. They're not going to suit everyone in the country, but for a lot of different types of people in a lot of different situations, it's going to make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's right. And, and for us, um, we do offer different sizes, but okay. You've got to realise that, um, yeah, a tiny space, just like a home, they shouldn't be the same. No. And if you go to other countries, you do see a lot of developments that are just cookie ape, cutter, yeah, yeah. the old cookie cutter. But yeah. Australia is very unique in that sense that very individual homes, and that's how they should be. It's yeah. a very personal space, and I think we can achieve that with a tiny home as well. We are right. confined to a certain size parameters. Yeah. But how you can customise it and making it your personal space, yeah. there's a huge range. And I think that's another really wonderful point about living in a tiny home. You can really make it your personal space. Yeah. Yeah. I remember a YouTube video interview I saw with Jay Schaefer and he said it's kind of like getting a tailor-made suit. You design yeah. it how you yeah. want it. You know, exactly. So it fits yeah. you and your wants and needs and activities and lifestyle. So yeah. excellent. So this one here, what sort of specs are we with this one? I mean, we'll have a look inside in a minute, guys. But how long is this one? Yeah, so this one is uh, six metres in total. Uh, it, that's just the actual tiny home itself. That doesn't include the drawbar and things like that. So it's like just that. the deck is six metres? Yeah, the deck's six metres. And height-wise? The height or? is, uh, for this one, it's 4.1 metres. Okay. But to the top of the fireplace, this one has its own little pot belly fire. Yeah. So in order to keep under the height code of 4.3 metres, yeah. I had to drop this, the ridge height down. So the total height, including the fireplace, is 4.25. So oh, okay. we're just Excellent. under. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for those of you guys watching, if you're building your own tiny house, you've got to keep it under that. Four, it's 4.3 from the ground to the highest point of the roof, whether it be the ridge or whether it be a chimney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And width-wise, it's 2.5. So with the width, what are we looking at width-wise here? Yeah, so with the width on this one, it's um, 2495. It's 5 mil clearance. It's there only, you go. It's only 2.5 mil either side. So we've absolutely maximised it. Yeah. Um, you just have to. You just have to. So, absolutely. Now, um, the big thing is we both know is, is in Australia is the weight because in America, they don't have the weight restrictions that we do. Yeah. yeah you see tiny houses in the States that are, you know, 17,000 pounds, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. enormous. Yeah. What sort of, do you know the weight of this one? Yeah, the exact tear weight of this one is uh, 4 tonne. 
Okay. Uh, it's uh, almost to the kilogram. It's got a GVM of 4.5 tonnes, so you can actually put up to 500 kilos worth of your stuff in it yeah. and still legally be able to drive it down the highway. So okay. um, for a lot of people, uh, it is just a, a one-time move. Yeah. So as long as you maintain the tear weight under 4.5 tonne, yeah. you're safe. Yeah. But like I said, this one I've adapted so that you can move it with some of your stuff as well. Sure. Yeah. So when you were building this, because I know some people that are building perhaps bigger tiny houses, they've really got to calculate the, the weight, yeah. ourselves included, but that's <laughs> a whole other adventure. But with this one being six metres, was that a primary focus for you? Did you really say, right, we've got to keep it underway? Were you overly worried about the, the weight of all the materials or, or was that, oh, it was pretty gonna, it's going to be pretty safe because it's only six metres? Yeah, so for this one, ultimately it would be better if it was 3.5 tonne because yeah. it means that more cars can pull it. Yeah. Okay, so, but I specifically designed the trailer to be 4.5 tonne sure. so that I could put in whatever I wanted and I knew I'd be under. Yeah, so, especially with a six metre. Yeah, yeah. With a six metre. When I do my next size up, the 7.2, yeah. We have to be a little bit more conscious. We still have to stick under that 4.5. Yeah. But it's it's if you want to have it so it's towed by a patrol or a Land Cruiser or any of those other models that do the yeah. 3.5 ton. Yeah, you. You got to strip it back a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You got to consider the options. I mean, in this one with the fireplace, you're looking at 100 kilos just, just the in fireplace. the pot belly. So there is easy ways to strip it back. Yeah. But you do have to be very conscious about what you do put in and the thickness of the material and how you want it to look overall with the design. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. I know that we were, uh, we were at the Melbourne Home Show and we were looking in a bath and I remember Lisa said, it's a beautiful bath and she said, how much does that weigh? And the guy said, what do you mean how much does yeah. it weigh? You know, but yeah, as you guys know, when you're building a tiny house, weight is paramount. Probably one of the main, yes. other than cost, one of the main considerations. That's true, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And to give us an idea, how, when did you actually start building this? How, what's the time yeah, frame so to build the it? Actual, we allow about three months per tiny home to build. Okay. Um, you're not actually working on it three months, like every day. You've got to allow for um, things to dry or waiting for materials to come in. But sure. there's a roughly a three month build time for okay. this one. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And so you've got a couple of models in the range. This is obviously your first one. Is this your smallest one? or? Uh, this is actually, we have our smallest one was the first one I made my first tiny home was actually 3.6 metres long. Okay. Um, this is the second one, but I have, I'm currently working on one that's 4.8. Okay. So I go up in increments of 1.2. Okay. So 3.6 metres, my sort of studio. Yeah. We go up to the next size, 4.8. And then we've got this, the six metre, yep. and then one more at 7.2. So that's the biggest I'll make, because right. I think um, for the materials that I've chosen to use, I cannot get it under four and a half ton, because I like to make my tiny homes look like real homes, yep. and I don't like to use caravan materials. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, the only time I'd use caravan materials, the lightweight stuff, yep. is if I had someone specifically wanting to travel around Australia in it. Yeah, yeah. certainly. Excellent. Um, well, we'd love to have a look inside if you'd please, give us a bit please, of a Please, I'd love to show tour. it. I'd love to show it to you. Excellent. All right. We'll be back in a second. We'll duck inside. So, guys, we're going to check out the interior. But before we do, one thing that I wanted to ask uh, Grant about was this thing here. It looks like a set of monkey bars, but <laughs> I think this is a very clever idea. I haven't seen this done before. What was, what's, what is this, firstly? This is actually the ladder that I've used. It's my wife's design, so she put a little bit of input into this, and it's actually, it doubles the storage or hanging space. It's actually the ladder to get into the single bed loft that I have up underneath, up, um, up behind this door. Like, Very clever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so in we go, we'll Here, check this in. out. So when you walk in, obviously, uh, just round to, to this side here, you've got the, very cool. so this is designed as what, a study area or a dining area or? Yeah, this one here essentially, I'll just move these brushes, but um, this here is, is, I call it the graduate series. It's essentially okay. for that person, like a single person or a young couple who yeah. um, just sort of moved out of home or want to move out of home, yeah. but can't actually afford it. Right. Parents are happy to have a little space in the backyard. Yeah. They've got independence. They've got a little kitchenette, like a little dining space. This is also the study space. Put the sure. computer here. You sort of, this is a like multiple, multiple purpose area. Yeah, I mean, yeah. as we all know, you've got to yeah, have multiple you function, have yeah. multi-function yeah. everything in a yeah. tiny house, so. Yeah. Okay, and you've got to, obviously the heating is with this wood stove, so that's 
I'd imagine that would make the place very warm and toasty with the uh, in the winter time. Very much so. I think you'd only need a few little sticks and um, burn it away. But yeah, it's 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 a really nice touch, really personal, and really gives it that sense of warmth. Not in the not in just actual warmth, yeah. but it's a really good looking feature. I think. Yeah, as you say, it makes it more feel like a home rather yeah. than a caravan because you'll never get get one of these in a caravan. Yeah. I put it in there to show people you actually don't need to compromise to yeah. be in a tiny home. You can yeah. actually have all the luxuries of a main house. Yeah. You've just got to consider its size. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. And of course, you've got uh, this particular one has got a sleeping loft up there, and you've got the stairs. There's always that that controversy: do you go ladder? Do you go stairs? Some people love the ladder. Some people love the stairs. Was there a particular reason you went with the stair option? Yeah, I think that every space in a tiny home needs to have storage. Sure. So with a ladder, I found it very difficult to be able to incorporate storage with the ladder as well. Yeah. And so this was a very neat way to be able to create um, essentially all the storage space that I think either a single person or a young couple would need. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're yeah. about what, 600 mil wide? Or? Yeah, 600 wide. 600 yep. wide. And um, yeah, so it should be a nice, safe width for most people. Yeah. Excellent. And of course, you know, the fact is by the time you get up to the second or third step, you can put your hand on the lock yeah, anyway, right. yeah, so yeah, it's, that's it's right. very yeah. safe. Excellent. Yeah. So you've got a seating area here. Seating area here, and of course, underneath the um, the couch, as always, you've, you've got to have your pull-out drawer system. You've got to have your storage. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, so plenty of space on the wall for, yeah. for art or even further cabinetry you if can they add really more wanted. cabinetry if you like that's Absolutely. right that's right and of course like every modern kitchen you've got your overhead cabinets um, this one has an actual range hood as well okay full gas uh, hot plate gas oven and you've got full size fridge so there's no compromise really here Absolutely. Above the fridge I've got in this one is the computer system which runs the solar. This one's half right. solar and half mains power. Okay. So all the lighting system in here runs on a solar system with okay. battery storage. My battery is um, tucked away under, under here. Okay. So it's sort of hidden behind there so you don't have to worry about that. And I've sort of boxed it off so you right. could still use the so drawer. So you could use some of the storage. storage. Yeah. Which is excellent. Yeah. So obviously if someone wanted to be completely off the grid there is upgrades available where they could say we're completely off the All grid. you need to do is let me know where it's going to go, yep. and then we decide the size of the solar system that goes in. We add, either add more batteries and then an inverter, or if you've got access to power, we just assume a feed in from the main residence yeah, and right. then uh, go from there. Excellent. Okay. And so it's certainly a very usable uh, kitchen space here. We see some tiny houses that are really tiny, but this is a good usable space. Yeah, and you can also have drop in um, covers over the sink if you want to add more. Um, if you want to add sort of more cutting space as well, we can just use the off cut that was for the was actual kitchen there. sink and then we modify that and put it over the top. So, Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And of course we've got the bathroom, so we'll swip around here and we'll uh, check out the bathroom. So, now we've turned around. So of course we need a bathroom and like many tiny house designs, uh, Grant has gone with the left-right design with the bathroom. So on this side we've got a toilet. What's the toilet that you've gone with here? What sort of? This is actually just the same toilet you would expect in any normal house. Okay. Um, you can easily add a composting toilet, but in this case, I would I felt that the owner of this one was going to put it in the backyard right. of an existing property where there was already a residence, and so I, we assumed it was a simple hookup to the existing mains sewer okay. system. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's no compromise with that. It's your, it's your classic um, soft closed toilet seat. Like Excellent. I said, no, okay. no compromise. You've got storage space, um, built in cabinets here. You, you sort of need those everywhere. Um, and then you've got a full size shower. Strip Excellent. drain as if it's a modern house. 900 Excellent. by 900 shower with a sliding screen. So, uh -huh. yeah. Excellent. And plenty of headroom in here as well. What sort of height is the loft? What are we looking at? Because you're not small. You're, what, six foot? Six foot something. Six foot something. I can't remember what it was. Do you remember what this is, this though? Is, this here is 2,100 high. 2,100 high, okay. Yeah. So you can lower that down if, if you are sure and if you want to get more space in the loft. You can There's always that trade-off, isn't there? Because the there one thing we can't change is yeah. that 4.3 metres. That's right. So it's that yeah. juggling between the, the, the height downstairs yeah. and the height upstairs. Yeah, because this one's a display, I did it at 2100 height to show people that the general feel that it would feel, yeah. you're not like a caravan, a lot of them are lower, yeah, but sure. um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's something that you just customise to suit you. Yeah, again, yeah. It's, it's looking at who's going to be living here, how big are they, if the couple is this big then, yeah, 
Do you, you want to call if, yeah, if the couple is that big, you could definitely lower it right down and really maximise the loft space. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, we better check out the loft space. So, like many tiny houses, Grant has chosen to go with a loft with a sleeping area. As we know, not all tiny houses have sleeping areas in the loft, but Grant has certainly chosen to do so with this one. So, do you know the square footage? Not square footage, square meterage. Do you know the square meterage? We're in Australia. Good, yeah, it is a good question, yeah, yeah. Um, there's about yeah. seven square metres all up. Okay. Of lost space. And so there would be room up there for what, a queen size? This actually fits a full king size bed. King size yeah. bed? Yeah. Plus, okay. I've actually extended the loft, cantilevered this little section here. So if anyone wanted to add either a handrail or instead of a handrail, like a storage space. Yeah, even little cabinetry, little cabinetry, cubbies for, for clothes. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Okay, and what sort of height do they have in the available in the loft? What sort of headspace are they? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. I get asked that a lot. In the middle, you're looking at about just a little bit over a meter. Okay. And then on the side, it's six hundred. Okay. So. And again, obviously, depending on that trade-off between downstairs yeah. height and loft yeah. height, that can be enlarged yeah. if they're willing to sacrifice. It's always that sacrifice. That always trade -off. sacrifice. If exactly. they didn't want to have the fireplace, they yeah. could actually raise that up another two hundred millimeters. Sure. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's one or the other. If you're living in a cold climate, you're going to want something to heat the space. Yeah. If you're not, if you're heading up to Queensland or something like that, you could easily get rid of that and take more loft space. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Now, I believe that this one has actually been sold. You've sold this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I ask for, for, what, for something like what we're looking at, this sort of size, this sort of finish, what sort of price range are people looking at for this? Yeah, exactly as you see this, with all its finishings, it's 65000 Okay. plus delivery. Okay. So from my workshop to anywhere in Australia. Now you're um, based where, in New South Wales? Yeah, I'm on the south coast of New South Wales, okay. down in a place called Brew Lake, which is a small little town. Um, okay. Very, it's, uh, Ulladulla is the main area, Excellent. so um, some people may know that, it's an old fishing town. So Okay, yeah. stay tuned people when we get up to Grant's place for the, the next video at his, his, his home base. But, uh, and what about if someone was in Brisbane or Perth or Melbourne and they wanted one of your designs, can that be arranged? Or? Yeah, so all our, all our tiny homes are designed and we on 3D software, so sure. we can show you what it's going to look like before we even start building. Sure. And we ship Australia wide, so Excellent. it's just you just we just give you a quote based on um, where you are actually wanting it, or sure. you can pick up and uh, take and take, take it the home. tiny home, drive it home. It's up to you. That's yeah. it. Excellent, great stuff. So if people want to connect up with you, if they want to find out more, you're on Facebook at Designer yep. Eco Tiny yep. Homes. Yeah, Designer Eco Tiny Homes. So you can go straight to our website, which is just designerecohomes.com.au. Absolutely wonderful. Well, that's Grant, and this is his first tiny house, and it's a wonderful tiny house, and thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.